In this video, we'll talk about APA electronic references for dissertations that came out of ProQuest. I'm assuming that you have downloaded some dissertations from, or dissertation references from ProQuest, and I have another video on how to do that, and also that you have installed the APA style from the University of Queensland in Australia, and I have an, an, a tutorial on how to do that too. All right, so first let's just take a look at the new rules for dissertation references. And this is uh, the PDF of electronic re styles from um, APA that I bought. And I just want to show you this reference here. This is how the dissertation references are supposed to get look now. Notice that it has where I got it, and it has this accession number, and it does no longer has the actual university and city and all that information. So it's quite a bit different, and we need to do some fixing to make this actually work properly. So let me just show you again, when you're in ProQuest searching, this is the dissertation we did, used in my uh, previous tutorial, and notice that I have all this information here, and look at this, this number is already right here. And actually, when you exported it, whether it shows up in your EndNote or not, it's actually in EndNote. So let me show you what that looks like in EndNote. Alright, so here we go. Here's how this particular reference looks. Let me resize it a bit more so you can see it. Just how I, this is using the University of Queensland's APA format and just exported from um, ProQuest. So you can see that it still has all this information here, and it's got this word database afterwards. It doesn't need it and doesn't have the, the accession number. So there's a little bit of fixing to do, but let's first go and see what's actually in here. So I double-click on the reference, and it has the city and university, and it has, there's the accession number that I need. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it has the ProQuest dig Digital Dissertations, and I think actually that's because I typed it in. I'm pretty sure you have to add this. I don't think it comes automatically. It might, but you definitely want to check and make sure that it's there. All right, I'm going to close this. Now, one way I could fix these is actually edit every single dissertation um, uh, reference and delete this information out of it, but that's really painful. So instead, I'm going to actually edit the style in EndNote. So now that I know what fields I have, I want to figure out how I'm going to edit this style. So let me come back into EndNote. And right now, again, I'm using this University of Queensland one that has, in theory, is fixed for the electronic references, but still needs a wee bit more work. And I'm going to go to Edit, and then Output Styles. And let me scroll up so you can see this a little bit better. Edit, Output Styles, and this is the name of the style I'm using. That's the one from Queensland. And I'm going to click Edit. And now I get this page. It's kind of scary. It gives you a lot of information in here. And you really want to think carefully <laughs> before you do too much editing in here. But if you're getting all of your dissertations from ProQuest, you really want to make this change because it'll make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to click on Templates under Bibliography. And here is where the way each of these references is set up. So there's quite a few different ones. The one I want to fix is thesis. So it has in here the unpublished thesis type, university and city. All of that is old stuff that I don't need anymore, so I'm going to delete it. And retrieve from name of database, and then the word database is in here again. I don't want that either, so I'm going to get rid of that. All right, now I know that I need that accession number in brackets. And if I do this, let's see, let me go back to my APA style and make sure I get this right. It's AAT, and then there's the number. All right, so the EndNote does not have in it the word AAT. It's just called accession number. So I'm going to put accession number in here along with this part is going to pull the field from EndNote, and this part it will write in all of them. And I experimented quite a bit before I figured this out. All right, I think it's right now. So I'm going to do Control-S to save, Control-W to close. And now, I didn't change anything on this. 
I'm still on the same reference, and look at this, it's right now. I've got my author, date, title, retrieved from ProQuest Digital Dissertations, and the reference after it. Always check those. And in theory, all the rest of mine should do that too. And I can just scroll through these. Actually, as I was working on this tutorial, I realized when I wrote all these in here, I missed the word S, <laughs> ProQuest Digital Dissertations. So I have to edit all of these. But again, if you sort these, let me show you again how to sort. sort. If you sort by reference type, you can find all the theses and work on them all together, which makes it a lot, a lot faster. All right, so we looked at the new rules for dissertation references. I showed you how to edit the reference style. Again, you'll only have to do that one time, and then everything you bring in should just magically be right. But again, always, always check those references when you pull them in from a database.